Hello and welcome to our oily family. So I'm recording this little video for you just to help you get started. So you've most likely got the um, top 10 essential oils in your kit. So either the family essentials kit or the home essentials kit, or you might have bought the natural solutions kit. So all of those kits have the top 10 oils in them. And I just wanted to record this little video just to help you get started. So first of all, the first thing I'd recommend is you get all your oils out, have a little sniff of them. Um, particularly if you've used other oils in the past, you'll notice the difference in the purity of the oils. So they're much more potent, which is great because you actually will need less of them. In the smaller bottles, you have 88 drops. And then in the bigger bottles, the 15 ml, you have 250 drops. So your oils will go a long way. When you get your oils, I would recommend that you make a diluted version of every oil that you have, just so that you have a diluted version in little rollables. So I would have sent you a couple of these. I also send you a link um, to get these either through your doTERRA account or Amazon as well if you wanted to get a bigger box of them. And I tend to have little oil stations in every room of my house. So these little, um, carriers if you like they are uh, cost about three or four pounds from etsy and i have one of these in my kitchen i have each one of our bedrooms has one of them the bathroom has one of them and so does our sitting room so that you have little oil stations in every room of your house so i tend to make rollables of all the oils so i have diluted versions of the specific oils that we use quite a lot in our family in all the different rooms so I don't end up running all around the house looking for them. It just enables you to um, stack the habits. So it enables you to use the oils and not have to think of it as a chore. It becomes part of your daily habits and your daily routine. The other thing I would suggest as well, obviously we haven't been going out that much lately, but if you go out, I would suggest getting like a little pencil case and having some oils in your handbag as well. So these are really good, particularly if you have children. I literally, this is like my little first aid kit that I take out with me, which has got like an owie rollable. It's got headache, digestion, um, on guard for around lots of people that are coughing and sneezing to support our immune system. Everything basically is in that little case and it comes with me everywhere that we go. So I want to just briefly outline each of the top oils that you have and how you can use them. So this is a very brief outline that a lot of the oils you can use for lots of different things, but I just want you to help you get started. So firstly, if you're making a rollable, these 10 mil rollables, I would recommend you put 10 drops of the neat oil in here. And if you're mixing two or three oils together, just divide that. So if you're using, let's say for instance, uh, lavender and frankincense for skin. So I use that for Tallulah for cuts, scrapes, bruises, bites, stings. Um, it would be five drops of lavender and five drops of frankincense. And then you're filling these up with fractionated coconut oil, which again, you can get a smaller bottle from doTERRA. I tend to buy a litre bottle from um, Amazon just because it's cheaper and I use a lot of it basically. Um, and then when you're actually making your rollables, you can reuse these glass bottles over and over again. So once you've actually purchased your initial rollables, you won't really have to buy loads more. So when you want to refill them, to get this off, you just use the lid and you just gently peel that off like that. So don't use a knife or your nails because it will hurt. And then also when you're getting to the end of your bottles, again, same thing, you can use the lid to peel the little plastic bit out to get the last little bit out of your oils. Okay, so those are the basics. I also would have given you an A to Z guide, so please read through that. And obviously in our one-to-one, -one, we'll go through specific health needs for you, and I'll put together for you a oils routine for you, and if your family as well, if you have one. So I'm just going to start briefly, go through each oil. So you'll have lavender. So lavender is the oil of communication and calm. If you're using this for physical reasons, this is all the things to do with skin. So 
cuts, scrapes, bruises, stings, bites. We've used this for bees and um, wasp stings many times with Tallulah and it literally takes the sting away immediately. It's quite miraculous. It's also good for um, just general skin. So you could add it to your face cream. It's good for sunburn, so very soothing for that. And then it's also really good for sleep as well. So you can make a roller ball of this, put it on the bottoms of your feet, down your spine, your wrists and sides of neck before you go to sleep or before your children go to sleep. And that's really helpful um, for sleep support. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about that. Yeah, when you're putting the oils on topically, generally you want to put them on your pulse points, which are your wrists and the sides of your neck. The reason for that is because the oils go into the bloodstream the quickest in those places. And then when you're putting the oils on the bottoms of your feet, the reason we do that is because the skin on the bottoms of our feet is different. It hasn't got any sebaceous glands. So the oil absorbs into the skin really easily through the feet. We've got all our reflex points on the bottom of our feet. So within 20 minutes of applying the oils to the bottoms of your feet, that oil will be in every cell of your body or whoever's body you're putting the oils on. So if you've got children. So if you don't want to necessarily take the oils internally, if that doesn't work for you, by putting the oils on the bottoms of your feet, that will give you the same effect. So that's your brief outline of lavender. Then you've got Zengest. So this is basically a digestive blend that has all the oils in it to support digestive support. So if anybody in your family suffers from bloatedness, heartburn, um, upset tummy, constipation, anything, sickness bugs, anything like that, it's actually adaptogenic. So basically what that means is if someone's constipated, it will help um, release. If somebody has an upset tummy, it will help your body to start to recalibrate itself. If somebody has a sickness bug as well, it will help the body to recalibrate itself. So using this, you can either put this in warm water, you can have a couple of drops underneath your tongue, and you can also apply this topically to the tummy, to the bottoms of the feet. It's also really good for helping with sinus issues. So if you have sinus issues, a lot of sinus problems start from gut health. So you can put this in and around your belly button and in and around your nose and on your sinuses, obviously diluted with the rollerball, and that really helps to unblock your sinuses. So the reason we put it on the belly button is because it helps with um, gut issues. So that's your Zen Jess. So I would carry this everywhere you go. It's also really good for children who get anxious. So if your children get tummy ache when they get anxious, it's a really good one to put on their tummy if they feel anxious feelings on their tummy. Then we have the air blend. So the air blend used to be called breathe. So this basically is everything to do with respiratory support. So if anybody suffers from asthma, um, they're getting a cough or a cold, um, Perhaps the air is quite dry in your home. If it's winter time and you've got the heating on, you can diffuse this. And you can diffuse your lavender at night time as well, actually. Um, you can apply this to the chest, to the back as well. So the back of the ribs for your lungs on the back, the bottoms of your feet. So this is kind of like a natural version of Vicks Vapor Rub, except it hasn't got all the petroleum and other nasties in it. So this is really good for respiratory support. And it's actually really nice if you drop it into a couple of drops in the bottom of your shower. It's got eucalyptus in it. So that can be really nice to um, open up your airways if you're feeling a little bit congested. This is really good for children as well. So you could diffuse this in their room with lavender at night time. So you've got the lavender to help with sleep and then you've got the air blend to open their airways. So that's really good for that. Then you have your deep blue rub or deep blue oil, should I say. This is basically to reduce pain in the body. So discomfort in joints, muscles, tension in your shoulders and your neck, um, anywhere where you're feeling any discomfort or pain in your body, you can apply this topically, diluted again. The reason we dilute the oils to put them on topically is because these oils are so pure 
they're quite volatile, so they tend to evaporate pretty quickly. So when we actually put them in a roller ball and with a carrier oil, when you're putting them on the skin, what happens is the carrier oil weighs the essential oil down and it helps the oil to penetrate deeper into the skin. So therefore, it's more effective and it will last longer on the skin as well. You can put some of the oils neat on your skin if that's what you wish to do. But I find if you make rollables, your oils will last a lot longer and they will work more effectively as well. Then you have peppermint oil. I would say this is probably my favorite oil in the top 10. I use this for all sorts of things. So for all the tired mamas out there, this is amazing for energy. So in the morning, you can inhale it from your palms. You can put it on your forehead and your temples, the back of your neck and your shoulders, and it just really uplifts, energizes us. Uh, peppermint relieves tension in the body as well. So if you suffer from headaches, by putting it on your temples and your forehead and the back of your neck and your shoulders. It gives you relief and support if you suffer from headaches. You can couple this with frankincense uh, for migraines. So if you start to feel a migraine coming on, apply that to your temples and back of neck and then you press a drop of frankincense into the roof of your mouth. And that really helps with supporting if you get migraines. Uh, peppermint is also really good for digestive support as well. So if you don't like digest, uh, Zengest, which has anise in it, some people don't like the smell, you can use peppermint as an alternative. So peppermint can be rubbed on the tummy, um, it can be taken in water, it can be taken a drop in the, the mouth. I quite often press it into the roof of my mouth. It's really good for freshening your breath as well, an alternative to uh, chewing gum as well. And I think that's it. If you get sunburn, you can mix it with the lavender to help to cool your skin as well. It's also really good diffused to energize everybody in your home. And in the summer, if it's really, really hot, I tend to close all my windows, doors, close the blinds, diffuse peppermint, and it really cools the air down in your home. So it's great for that. Then you have lemon oil. So lemon is our detoxification blend. So this you have in water every day. Just a drop is equivalent to about 24 slices of lemon. So much more detoxifying, but it won't damage the enamel of your teeth. So slices of lemon, the fresh of the lemons tend to ruin the enamel of your teeth. All the citrus oils are made from the rind of the fruit. So, um, when you're using the lemon oil, you're not going to damage the enamel of your teeth. So that we tend to have in warm water. I have that throughout the day. Um, you can also use this for cleaning. It cuts through grease and grime. So I have it in my glass cleaner, my surface cleaner, toilet cleaner. It's good for cleaning floors. It's good for getting marks out of carpets, walls, furniture. If your child likes a biro like mine, um, and sticky labels. You can get sticky labels off with a bit of lemon oil as well. This is like a magic oil when it comes to cleaning. So if you want to learn more about that, have a look in our Facebook group under the green cleaning section and there's lots of different recipes, a free ebook, and I've even done a video on how to make cleaning sprays with your lemon oil. So that's a good one for that. Then you have your Melaleuca which is actually tea tree, it's called tea tree now. So if you've got a newer kit, you might uh, have a bottle that says tea tree on it. And this basically is to support skin generally. Um, so it's antibacterial, so it's really good if you have cuts, scrapes, bruises and things like that. So if you've got children that are quite boisterous and like to get in the mud and the dirt and quite often hurt themselves, you can mix this with lavender and frankincense as an owie spray or an owie rollerball. So Tallulah has a rollerball with Melaleuca, frankincense and lavender. I do, I do three drops of each in that and that's our owie rollerball to roll over any cuts, scrapes, bruises, bites, anything like that. Uh, this can be used for teenage skin as well. It can be used for cleaning the toilet, so you can put it into the toilet with vinegar baking soda it's really good as antibacterial properties um i think that's it oh this is really good for ears so if anybody gets ear aches in your family melaleuca and lavender just applied around the ear and then you can put a few drops of this and lavender on a cotton ball 
and put the cotton ball in the ear. I would never recommend that you apply neat oils down your ear, up your nose or very close to your eyes, okay? So just be aware of that. Then you've got your oregano oil. So this you can actually cook with. So if you're into making Italian dishes, a little pin drop of this into your dishes is really lovely instead of the dry herb. It's also a natural antibiotic. So if you have people in your family that tend to be prone to having antibiotics, you could use this instead. I've used this many times uh, when I broke my finger, for the children if they've got infections and things. And the great thing about this is it is a natural antibiotic, but it doesn't destroy your natural gut flora. So if you're, you may or may not be aware of this, but antibiotics that are given to you by the doctor are brilliant at killing all bacteria including all the good bacteria in your gut, which is not what we want to do. There is no known study that has ever shown that essential oils disrupt the natural microbiome of our body, which is amazing. So this little kit that you've got here is like a natural first aid kit. It will support about 80 to 90% of ailments in your home day to day without disrupting your natural microbiome like over-the-counter uh, prescription drugs that you get. So you can pretty much switch everything. Tallulah has never had antibiotics. Sadie's never had antibiotics. Um, and I've just always used oregano oil. And this, for children, you would just put, uh, make a little rollable of it. So it's a hot oil, so it's quite warming on the skin. So you would do less of a dilution of this. So I tend to do two to five drops for children. And you'd apply that to the bottoms of their feet. For adults, you can actually take this in a veggie capsule, so three to four drops in a veggie capsule um, for 10 days. You can also use this to do a gut cleanse as well. So if you feel like you've got gut issues, you can take this for 10 days in a row in a veggie capsule to cleanse your gut and then take a course of probiotics for a month afterwards and that helps to restore your gut flora. That's a really good one to have. Then you have frankincense oil. So this is the king of oils. So your kit would have either cost you £122 if you've got the smaller kit or £240 if you've got the bigger kit. This oil on its own, this size bottle is £57. So your kit is such good value. And basically with the frankincense oil, if in doubt, you get frankincense out. It's a good one for everything. Um, I tend to actually take a couple of drops of this to boost our immune system. You can make a roll of all of this. I tend to make, the children have a immune boosting rollable, which has three drops of frankincense, three drops of on guard, and then it also has another oil in it, three drops of turmeric. So that's not part of your top 10 oil kit, but turmeric is a really good one for reducing inflammation within the body. So it's something I would recommend to look at in the future. But frankincense is really good to support the skin. So I have this in my face cream. Um, it's also really good for when you have scars. Um, it basically, what it does, it helps cell reproduction of the body. So if you find that you have um, any skin issues, you can apply this topically and it helps to regenerate the cells of the skin. You can then take this internally and it does the same thing with the cells. So if you've got anything going on that like disease within your body, dis-ease, um, frankincense is the oil to utilize on a daily basis. It also is the oil to support uh, neurological health. So preventing, Alzheimer's, dementia, all of those kind of things. So this is an oil I would recommend that you take every day as um, health insurance, if you like. Then you've got On Guard. So this is basically the protective blend. This has a blend of orange, clove, eucalyptus and rosemary. And this basically, if you were to look this up on PubMed, or aromaticscience.com. So that both of those websites have um, studies done on all of these essential oils. So if you want to learn more about the different oils, I would recommend that you go onto that website, type each individual oil in there, and it will tell you the studies that have been done. This oil has been studied many times to um, help support the body in fighting 
flus and colds. So this has been our ally throughout this past year, um, throughout the pandemic that we've had. If you're watching this in the future, that was in 220. So this oil we tend to diffuse every day in our home every morning just to give our immune system a little boost. Um, when you're diffusing the oils in the air of your home, they kill about 90% of bad bacteria in the air. So diffusing just for 15 minutes will really help to um, support all of your families and yourselves um, immune system and health in general. When you're diffusing the oils, they get absorbed into the skin. You're inhaling them, so they're going into your respiratory system. And then when you inhale the aroma of the oils, our sense of smell is the only sense that is linked to the limbic part of the brain, which is basically where we store our emotions and our memories. So they can literally change how you feel in a matter of seconds. So peppermint, for instance, if you're feeling low, lethargic, disheartened, Inhaling the aroma of peppermint can just uplift and energize you, which is amazing. So like I said, with On Guard, uh, we make a roller ball for the children. We don't tend to take this, actually we do take this, we take the veggie capsules of this every day, particularly in the winter to boost our immune system. You can diffuse it, uh, take it, and you can apply it topically. So I tend to put it over the children's chest and the bottoms of the feet, particularly throughout the winter time. And if anybody feels like they're getting a cold, a couple of drops in the mouth or in hot water is amazing. The last oil I wanted to go, which isn't part of the top 10, but wild orange, because I tend to send this to everyone as a gift. This is basically uplifting for you. So this is an oil that you can diffuse. Um, you can put it into your palms, inhale the aroma for a few rounds of breath. This oil, if you suffer from anxiety, um, overwhelm, this is the oil to just take a couple of moments and breathe in and just smell the aroma of it. You can obviously diffuse it as well. I really like this in warm water, it's lovely. It helps to soothe digestive issues as well. Um, so those are your top 10 oils. So if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. Please don't hesitate to message me. Obviously we have our Facebook group, so please dive in there, go through the, they used to be called units, they're now called guides. So if you go into the Facebook group, go in through the guides, I've literally got step by step how to utilize your oils and all the different ways that you can use these oils. So you can use these oils for hormone support, green cleaning, digestive support, glowing skin, um, the possibilities are endless. With this little kit that you've bought, it's just like the world is your oyster. So enjoy your oils. If you have any questions, give me a message. I'm so happy that you're here with us in our doTERRA family and community. Uh, this just, it brings me joy to see people um, taking their health into their own hands and feeling the empowerment that these oils can give you in those moments where things are going on in your home, you have these little tools of support. It's so empowering, especially if you're a mama. So sending you so much love. Mwah. Speak to you soon.